doing our sales pitch and it went a lot yeah a lot I heard that but I have to just give two thumbs up to that because we're seeing the same results so and I'm telling you that's what it's all about we're not sitting here like a nonprofit radio station you know begging for money three times a year right this is a for real business that we're praising God we're giving Jesus all the credit for our lives and we're having fun along with it, and we're growing businesses, and that's, that's right. what we want to partner with. So just, uh, you know, we're opening up the phone lines. We have free tote bags for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the, I'm sorry, that's PBS. Yeah. For the first 500 callers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the best of CD. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, we could give you the whole I, we show. Could do yeah. that. That's right. <laughs> so, Sonia, what's going on over at Brian oh, Insurance? A lot, a and, lot. By the way, I do want to say I noticed Brad behaved himself oh, last yeah. night. He didn't get up on the tables like last no, year. No, no. Uh, yeah. That was fun last night. It though. was fun. It was, it was fun. a good get-together. I did manage to eat. I heard you say you barely got to time to eat because of talking to people. I did both. I multitasked because all the food was so good. <laughs> so I'm not going to mention any names, but there was something that was in um, that looked like something, and I'm, I'm showing Sonia what it was. Wasn't that great, was it? No. No, that one. No. But we're not going to say what no, it was. No, we won't who say. It was, it was not. I have no idea what this is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she knows, though. I know, I know. She knows exactly what it was. Yeah. Because everybody looked. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what was this? Anyway, go ahead. Okay, well, anyway, uh, what I thought, I had a question, <clears throat> excuse me, the other day. Yeah. And it kind of goes in with last night being at the Chamber Banquet, too. But um, the question, I'm sorry. Am you going to need a cough? Here, no. I'm going to turn the mic off. Go ahead. Get okay. it out. Clear it out. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, See, we can stall one. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, talk, a question asked me about, you know, if a person, an individual serves on a nonprofit board, uh -huh. uh, what kind of issues might that cause for them as far as risk management? And but and I do want to talk about that. It's a really good question. Ooh, that is a great it is a really good question. question. Yeah. But I want to preface it though by saying when I talk about these things, in no way am I discouraging serving on a board. I currently serve on two in Graham and one in Dallas. Um, and Rick has served on boards. I'm sure you oh, have. Many, we, yes. and, and we really believe in giving back to our community. Brian Insurance even has a formal program called Brian Cares where we give our employees time off to serve on different things. So, I mean, we really believe in it and it's important. And I'm not. So when I talk about these things, it's just to th things to think about and look for, not to say to discourage. Uh, but, yes, when, when you do agree to serve on a board, you are putting yourself out there a bit. Um, there's several different things that we could talk I could talk for a long time but the biggest issues that come up and, and you, you need to understand that as an individual when you're on a board you could be sued individually because of issues uh, decisions made by the board right so uh, depending on what happens and you know somebody gets hurt somebody's property gets damaged whatever happens you know, um, the organization can be sued, but those individuals can be sued. So it is a big responsibility. And I think when you're going to serve on a board, you need to know, first of all, what you need to make sure you fully understand what the board is allowed, to, decisions that they're allowed to make for the organization, which ones they're not. Uh, at your meetings, always make sure that all decisions are made at the meetings, at the board meetings, where minutes are taken, not side deals, you know, it's in and, and that kind of thing. And then... Um, of course, the big one that we see in the news, and that is the fiduciary things. That's when people get sued because money wasn't handled properly. So you just need to have all those controls in place. Uh, you know, the things like two people to sign checks, that kind of thing. You know, we're like, well, we trust everybody, but it's not a matter of trust. It's just good policy. And uh, I highly recommend that any any nonprofit organization or for profit, for that matter. Uh, if you have a board of directors that you carry directors and officers insurance, which protects those officers and directors if they are sued individually, and before you serve on a board, that's another question you should ask. Do, do, do y'all carry this? Uh, and also, and I, I hate to say things like this because I want to, personal umbrella a lot of times will cover that, but, but that's not a guarantee because there is no standard personal umbrella form but if you are serving on a board you probably should ask your insurance agent hey just if something happened on that board and i was sued individually with my umbrella pick up coverage for that now do most nonprofits have insurance to cover uh, it's funny so, some do most do but yeah. some some don't really think about hmm. it and because i have to be honest with you when i was on the board a uh, radio group uh, over in Abilene, uh, we never even thought about having insurance on yeah that. so that's interesting and then sometimes um for example 
the service club that I'm a member of that meets on Wednesdays at noon. I don't know if y'all want me to say what it is. Lions Club. Okay. <laughs> uh, our, we have a board in Lions International. It doesn't start with an R. Does it? No. no, it's Lions Club. <laughs> uh, now, Lions International actually provides that coverage for uh -huh. other local clubs. So, But right. that's not always the case because there's other organizations that I've been in that they don't. So ask the questions and just find out and at least consider it. And, and a lot of it, of course, has to do with the decisions, types of decisions your board makes. There's so many different groups and organizations out there. You know, but just, just know that you are taking a responsibility. You are, you know, giving back, and it's important. But it is something that you should take seriously. So right. That's my. You know, I know a lot of times, um, you know, dealing with some of the things I've dealt with in my other businesses, <laughs> that you know they're always looking to if something happens about suing everybody. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. Suing the the venue, suing whomever is involved, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking in situations like this, like let's say you're on a board at a a church or some civic organization that does make money decisions and things like that, if something does go down, the lawyer is going to be looking at every venue to make a little money. Sure, and and that's the thing that I think a lot of people don't realize is that they can go after you as an individual, even though you're acting on behalf of that group. So it's important. I mean, just one one small example, we're hosting, I'm in Desk and Derek Club of Graham, and we're hosting a big event here in April with groups coming in from all over. and. When we provide transportation, <clears throat> we're actually getting vans with drivers because our board made the decision, you know, if something happens, we don't want it to be Rick driving it or my, you know, the other person's husband driving the van. And, you know, we want to make sure it's a professional driver because that's a big decision. And yes, it's a little more expensive, but it's safer. And so, you know, just make smart decisions like that when you're thinking about what can happen. Not that Rick's right. ever had any issues no. driving. No, he, no, it was just... <laughs> Tim, I would walk in my office in two seconds. He actually... Even go there. I, I was just... <laughs> he actually would probably be a pretty good driver, but he'll probably be working that day. He's trying to get you a business. I know what he's doing. That, but, was, a, that was a jab. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, you know, and of course, again, I stress directors and officers insurance, it's usually not very expensive, and it's, it's just a cushion there to, you know, help to provide that for your board in case something does happen. Okay, does it, does, I'm sorry, does it make any difference on, and I don't know if you can answer this, maybe a law question, but uh, <laughs> does it make any difference like if you're on a board or something like that, if there's some kind of disclaimer that's signed or something like that? Uh, that's a is a legal question. Yeah. I think that things like that don't hurt. I don't know that it's a definite deterrent, yeah. but you know, it couldn't hurt. So, I just wonder if you could sign something to say, look, as an individual, I serve on this board. I'm not held responsible for yeah, no, I don't the actions yeah. of, the, of, the, of the organization or something like okay, that. Okay, so yeah. I'm going to give an example, yeah. and I, I really, really stress this. If you're not comfortable with the decision that's being presented for the board's approval or disapproval, abstain yourself. Yes. Just abstain. Uh, just and abstain. there's going to be a record of it, and then you can say, I really didn't have anything to do with that's this right. decision, and you're okay. But that's a comfortable zone. And my dad also gave me a lot of advice when I was growing up, one of them was anybody can sue you for anything. That's true. That's true. It's, it's just a matter of when it happens, being prepared. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah, and and just give us, you know, if you're, if you're on a board, if you're – Thinking about being one, or if you're a president or, or a member of a board currently on a, of an organization and you want to talk about it further, we can talk to you. We can talk to you about directors and officers insurance. I mean, it's really inexpensive, and it's, it's good coverage. So uh, just give us a call. All right. All right. How do we get a hold of you, You Brian can insurance. call us at 940-549-2525. You can come see us, second floor, Sierra Bank, or you can visit us at www.brianbrianins.com. As always, Sonia, thank you. We'll see you next week. All no, right. no, we won't. You're going to be... Uh, uh, I'll be know, back. Oh, you'll be back? I'm on? coming back Tuesday night. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I'll be back. Well, we'll okay. see you Wednesday. Okay. All right. Have a good week. Thanks.